You're listening to Olympia Kwiatkowski on 4BC 116. Great to have your company on this Thursday afternoon, taking you through till 3 o'clock. 131873 is the number. We can send through a text 0460 61 116. First Light Widowed Association is a non-for-profit charity organisation that connects young widowed people from all backgrounds and relationship structures, connecting them to resources, programs and most importantly, a community filled with support. I was surprised to hear that more than 20,000 Australians under the age of 44 are widowed. And one of those Australians is the founder of First Light, Rebecca Adams, who was 33 years old when her husband Daniel passed away unexpectedly in 2013, just six weeks after their wedding. She joins me now. Rebecca, good afternoon and thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's nice to chat. Rebecca, you were 33 years old, newly married, when you found yourself in a situation that you could just, something you could never have prepared for. Yeah, that's right. Um, We'd only been married six weeks and my husband passed away very unexpectedly uh, to depression. So um, I went from planning the rest of my life together and planning on having children to kind of navigating a whole new world that I was really unprepared for. So it was um, definitely a strange experience um, to be faced with at that age and something I wasn't really equipped to deal with. Absolutely. So you went out looking for support and that obviously is what started First Light. So did you find that there was not much support out there for people of your age who'd been, you know, left in these situations? Yeah, exactly. Um, Once I realised that I'd gone from being a wife to the title of widow, it was something that I I tried to understand, well, well, what what does that mean and what do I do now? What's the bereavement process involved and how do I navigate through the grief? So um, I'm a bit of a problem solver and I just Googled the word young widow and started looking for resources and information in Australia about um, grief and how to process grief. And was surprised, I guess, to find that nothing nothing came up. There was a lot of organisations to help with um, what causes death. So there were a lot of um, suicide and, de- and depression support services um, and cancer support services, but nothing really in place for what's left behind, uh, for, for the people, sorry, who are left behind. Um, and then I did find an organisation in America called Soaring Spirits International that run a conference called Camp Widow. And um, through the following 12 months, I started connecting locally just through social catch-up groups with other young widows and realised that that peer support and that understanding and validation that came from being around other young people who were navigating the same experience was really um, what helped me more than anything. So that's where the idea of First Light came about. Um, I teamed up with two other young widows based in Brisbane who were also widowed young, uh, one in their 20s and one in her early early 40s. And we started the the process of formalising a non-for-profit that would serve young Australian widowed people. Yeah, it's a a beautiful um, beautiful group you have. What does First Light offer? Uh, So basically we're we're all about peer support programs. Um, None of us have um, professional training in psychology or support, but um, a lot of our programs are influenced in that area. So it's a lot about connecting to community and providing information and resources to help people navigate through their grief. So our, our biggest program is Camp Widow Australia, which will be happening in Brisbane on May 15 and 16. And Camp Widow is a it's kind of a cross between a conference and a retreat that's been running in America, as I said, for about 12 years. So I first found Camp Widow and, and travelled to the States in 2014 myself. I'd just been widowed for 12 months and was still feeling quite lost and couldn't really see um, what my future would look like and how I would ever be able to move through that pain. Mm. Um, that experience changed me and, and gave me hope that there'd be more, more to come for me personally. And uh, we're now bringing that event here uh, this year with the organisation with the organisation in America that runs it. Yeah. Um, outside of that, we have um, information through our website that um, can help support young widowed people through their through their grief. Um, and we we have uh, local catch ups here in Brisbane and a few other spots around Australia. And we have an online forum um, for young widowed people who are our members to connect with others and. Um, draw inspiration and and hope from each other's stories too. Yeah. Now, Rebecca, one of the things that I find, you know, death is one of those things that no one talks about. Everyone, it makes everyone quite uncomfortable. But you also have, um, you give advice to family members and friends of people who are, who are widowed. 
We do, yeah. I've, I've been with her nearly eight years and I've lost count of the amount of times that people in my life, family and friends, have contacted me and said, look, a, a work colleague's husband's just died or my neighbour's just died. Have you got any advice for yeah. me on what do I say and what, what can I do? I don't know how to help and I feel so helpless. So we do have a section on our website um, that contains information for family and friends on how to how to try and help their special person through their grief as well. It's one of the one of the things I know my family felt so helpless um, at the time, and uh, yeah. it's one of those things nobody really does know what to say. We don't yeah, a talk lot of, about death. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And so last year, um, you were the re- recipient of the Lord Mayor's Charitable Trust grant, and that was going towards something that unfortunately COVID got in the way of. But it's happening this year in May. Tell me about. Camp Widow. Certainly is and yes we're very lucky to have the support of the Lord Mayor's Charitable Trust uh, and a number of corporate sponsors who have come on board to help us uh, make Camp Widow a reality. Um, It's cost us about $40,000 in fundraising so it's been a bit of a labour of love for our team of volunteers and that subsidises the ticket price for all of our um, widow people that will be coming from all over Australia. We've currently sold tickets I think to young widow people in every state except the Northern Territory. Oh that's fantastic. Yeah, we're really excited that people are um, taking that chance to come and experience this with us. Um, But Camp Widow will be a two-day event. We've got motivational speakers, um, workshops that are related to uh, moving through grief, um, a lot of community um, connection activities. So people will find the opportunity to chat to others. For a lot of people, I think it'll be the first time they've been in a room with another widowed person, let alone 140-odd widowed people. It's a very strange experience. Um, to go from being the person in your world who no one can really relate to and no one can really understand to being surrounded by a huge community of people. And even though everybody's stories are different and everybody's challenges are different, to have that common connection is very empowering and um, very liberating to sort of have all your feelings validated and to find someone that you can actually talk to and, and let your guard down and say things that maybe are a little bit morbid or strange that you wouldn't want to say to the other people in your world. Mm. But another widowed people just says, oh, I hear you, I, I get it. And um, that's really powerful. And Camp Widow is for anyone who um, may have lost a life partner regardless of gender? Yes, that's correct. Um, we've got people coming who are uh, male, female, um, same-sex relationships, uh, varying different ages, very, very young to um, on the older scale of the young widow um, aspect and people who have been maybe just engaged or planning their lives together but weren't officially married, we're, we're very open. It, it is really for anyone who has lost the person that they were planning on spending the rest of their lives with. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's beautiful. Uh, how can people find out more information? Yeah, please go to our website. Um, I think if you can, if you Google Camp Widow Australia, we come up at the top of the list there, but our website is First Light. Dot org.au and you'll see on the homepage there a link to Camp Widow with more information and uh, a link to buy tickets. But we also, if anyone has questions, we've got a lot of people reaching out, feeling a little bit nervous or unsure, wanting to um, find out a little bit more about the program. So you can certainly reach out to us and our team can get back in touch with people too. Excellent. Rebecca, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thanks for having me.